scientists discover a girl with DNA from two different species. Early Homo sapiens are the ancestors of modern humans, but their story is more complex than we once thought. While some people today carry Neanderthal DNA, new discoveries suggest that ancient human species were far more diverse. One of the most remarkable finds was the remains of a young girl with parents from two different species, one a Neanderthal and the other from an entirely separate branch of the human family tree. This discovery changed our understanding of how ancient humans interacted. We now know that Neanderthals, who went extinct around 40,000 years ago, weren't the only ones to pass down their genes. DNA analysis has revealed that people of Eurasian descent still carry about 2% Neanderthal DNA, proving that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals had children together. But they weren't alone. Another extinct species, the Denisovans, also contributed to the genetic makeup of modern humans. Denisovans were first identified in 2008 when archaeologists uncovered bone fragments in Denisova Cave, a remote site in Siberia. DNA testing confirmed that these remains belonged to an entirely new human species. Denisovans lived as far back as 217,000 years ago, but their remains are rare. Only five viable specimens have been found. That's why a recent discovery was so significant. One of the remains belonged to a hybrid individual whose DNA was a mix of Neanderthal and Denisovan ancestry. This groundbreaking find has reshaped our understanding of human evolution, proving that interbreeding between different species was more common than we ever imagined. Crossbreeding between species can be a complicated process. Some species can successfully reproduce, like Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, whose mixed offspring were fertile, but not all crossbreeding works this way. When a horse and a donkey mate, for example, they produce a mule, which is sterile, and cannot have offspring. The fact that early human species could interbreed and pass their genes down for thousands of generations raises fascinating questions about our past. How many other ancient species once roamed the Earth? How much of their DNA still exists within us today? Every new discovery brings us closer to answering these questions, revealing a history far more intricate than we ever expected. The key to understanding interbreeding between ancient human species lies in chromosome compatibility. Some species, particularly primates with similar chromosome structures, can produce fertile offspring. This knowledge led researchers to suspect that Denisovans may have interbred with other early human species. However, for years, there was no direct proof, only speculation. That all changed with a groundbreaking discovery in 2018, which would completely reshape our understanding of human evolution. It all started years earlier, in 2012, when Russian archaeologists returned to Tadesova Cave, a remote site in southern Siberia. While searching for more evidence of ancient human species, they unearthed thousands of tiny bone fragments. Most were unidentifiable, so they were collected and sent to a laboratory for further analysis. There, they sat untouched for years, until 2016, when a University of Oxford student named Samantha Brown began examining them. Her assignment was straightforward. Determine which fragments belonged to animals by using DNA testing. But what she found was far beyond anything she expected. Among the 2,000 fragments, one stood out. It was just two centimeters long, yet when Brown analyzed it, she discovered it wasn't from an animal, it was human. Given the Denisova cave's history of yielding both Neanderthal and Denisovan remains, Brown dug deeper. What she uncovered was so astonishing that she initially doubted her own results. The bone fragment belonged to an individual who was neither fully Neanderthal nor fully Denisovan, but a direct mix of the two. If her findings were correct, this would be the first ever evidence of a first-generation hybrid between two distinct human species. Brown immediately informed her department head, and the bone fragment was sent to the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany. There, Svante Pibo, a leading expert in ancient DNA, along with researcher Vivian Slon, conducted a full genome analysis to confirm the discovery. As they isolated each DNA sequence, 
It became clear. Brown was right. This small bone fragment belonged to the first known Denisovan Neanderthal hybrid ever found. Sloan later admitted that her initial reaction was disbelief. The odds of discovering a first-generation hybrid were incredibly low. While previous research had suggested that Neanderthals and Denisovans occasionally had children together, no one expected to find direct evidence so soon. I never imagined we'd be fortunate enough to find an actual child of these two groups, Sloan said, but this discovery raised even more questions. Who was this ancient individual? How did she end up in the Denisova cave? Further analysis of the bone structure revealed that it belonged to a girl, estimated to be around 13 years old. Radiocarbon dating placed her existence at roughly 90,000 years ago. The fragment Brown had analyzed was later identified as the tip of her finger. In honor of the cave where she was found, researchers named her Denny. Denny's discovery changed everything. It was undeniable proof that different human species didn't just coexist. They interacted, formed relationships, and had children together. While we may never know the full story of her life, her existence provides a rare and invaluable glimpse into our shared past, revealing just how interconnected our ancient ancestors truly were. To uncover Denny's parentage, researchers carefully analyzed her DNA. Mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited from the mother, revealed that her mother was Neanderthal, while her father was Denisovan. This discovery provided an unprecedented look into the genetic history of both species. Geneticist Fabrizio Mafton explained that Denny's genome was invaluable. It not only confirmed interbreeding between Neanderthals and Denisovans, but also offered a rare glimpse into the genetic traits passed down from each lineage. Given the groundbreaking nature of this find, the research team conducted multiple tests to confirm their results. I thought they must have made a mistake, recalled geneticist Svante Pibo. To be certain, they sent the bone fragment to the Francis Crick Institute in London for further analysis. Population geneticist Pontus Scotland verified the findings and stated confidently, they nailed it. There's no uncertainty at all. Scientists were initially skeptical because discovering a first-generation hybrid of two extinct human species was incredibly rare. While evidence of Neanderthal and Homo sapiens interbreeding exists, no first-generation hybrid between those two species has ever been found. Yet here was Denny, proof that Neanderthals and Denisovans not only coexisted but also had children together. Scotland later described the discovery as a mix of excellent science and a touch of luck. He predicted that Denny's story would quickly become a part of textbook knowledge. But while her genetic origins were now clear, the circumstances of her life remained a mystery. How did her Neanderthal mother and Denisovan father meet? Some researchers believe these ancient groups were more mobile than previously thought, with Neanderthals moving across vast distances rather than staying in one region for thousands of years. Others suggest that Denny may have been part of a mixed Neanderthal Denisovan community which could explain why so few purely Denisovan remains have been found. As geneticist Benjamin Harris noted, the number of pure Denisovan bones we discovered can be counted on one hand. This suggests that, over time, Denisovan genes may have gradually blended into Neanderthal populations. Even more fascinating, Denny's DNA revealed an unusually high level of heterozygosity, a measure of genetic diversity within an individual's genome this means she carried a wide range of genetic traits, possibly reflecting generations of interbreeding between different human species. While much of her life remains unknown, Denny's existence challenges everything we once believed about human evolution. Her remains, though small, hold a massive piece of the puzzle, one that continues to reshape our understanding of where we came from and how connected our ancient ancestors truly were. Denny's DNA revealed something extraordinary. Her genetic diversity, or heterozygosity, was twice as high as that of modern humans. This was surprising, given that her parents belonged to two closely related species. Geneticist Masson theorized that her ancestors may have interbred with yet another, currently unknown, human species. If true, this suggests that there may be additional hominin lineages 
whose DNA has yet to be identified. Researchers estimate that Denny was around 13 years old when she died. Her mixed ancestry raises an important question. Was she an anomaly, or was interbreeding between Neanderthals and Denisovans more common than we thought? Some scientists believe her Neanderthal mother may have had other children with Denisovan partners, suggesting these groups lived alongside each other more frequently than previously assumed. Climate may have played a role, as Neanderthals were adapted to cold environments. If Denny's family lived in a colder region, it's possible that changing climates influenced migration patterns, bringing different human species into contact. One of the most intriguing aspects of Denny's DNA is the unexpectedly high percentage of Neanderthal ancestry, despite being primarily Denisovan. This suggests that her Denisovan father may have had Neanderthal ancestors as well, making her the result of generations of interbreeding. But how did these populations meet? One theory suggests Neanderthals gradually migrated eastward, and at some point, Denny's father, possibly living in what is now Russia, encountered her mother. Another possibility is that she was part of a hybrid community where Neanderthals and Denisovans lived together. Since pure Denisovan remains are rare, researchers speculate that their genes may have merged into Neanderthal populations over time. Denny's discovery offers a rare glimpse into the past, revealing how different human species interacted. Her story challenges long-held beliefs about ancient populations and raises new questions about our genetic history. Were hybrid communities common? How many unknown species contributed to our lineage? With just one small bone fragment, our understanding of human evolution has changed forever, proving that our history is far more complex than we ever imagined.